What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to go over elite code 959 region by slashes. Now this is a union find and a disjoint set data structure problem. So the input is a grid of a a, an array of strings that's supposed to represent a grid and the output needs to be an integer to find out how many regions we have overall. So this is one connected component and this one connected component. Uh, the solution for this comes from the Elite Code Solution tab, but I'm going to try to make it a bit better by drawing the diagram and explaining how they actually split it. Now, we're doing, uh, for, for, for if we take a square, it's going to be split into 0, 1, 2, 3. And if it has a slash going this way, then these two are definitely connected, and these two are definitely connected. Same way if it's like this, these two are definitely connected, and these two are definitely connected. Um, now, if we have a two by two input, it's gonna get split into four by four because we're splitting each single square into four triangles. So let's get into it. First, what we do is we get int n is grid dot length. And then what we do is we initialize our union find data structure. Now, I'm not gonna go over how to create the union find data structure. I think geeks for geeks has the best explanation for it. But uh, what this line does is pretty much initializes the internal array that a union find uh, data structure is gonna make use of. And the size of that is going to be 16 in total, 16. So two times two times four, which is 16. Now, uh, let's let's get into the actual meat of the problem now. For int i is equal to zero, i is less than n, i plus plus. For int j is equal to zero, j is less than n, j plus plus. Um, what we do is we get a character each time. Character c is going to be grid of i dot char at j. So the first one, we're going to get this guy, and we're going to get the first one, which is a space. And we make use of a, a number called root, which is going to signify the 0, 4, 8, 12. Um, this is, we, we calculate this so that we can work with the four triangles in each grid square. This is going to be r, or no, i, rather, i times n which is the number of columns plus C um, times four. So normally this would go zero, one, two, three, but we're gonna multiply it by four since we're splitting everything into four triangles, zero, four, eight, 12. Now keep track of this because we're gonna be using it. Once, okay, so now we get into the actual checking. If the character C we found was not a backward escape that, so it means it's not this. So it could be this, which means zero and one get at union together. Uf dot union root and then root plus one and then uf dot union these two together because if it's not this way, it could go this way and then two and three root plus two, root plus three, and then if c is not equal to, is not equal to this guy, you have that union root. Now let's check. If it's not this guy, then it could be this, right? So zero and two get put together. So root zero and root plus two, and then you have that union root, right? Uh, plus one and root plus three. Root plus one and root plus three. Now all these are actually going to be belong to for this guy. All the it's going to be this case, which means all of them are going to be part of one. One set. Now now that we're done with this, what we'll, what we need to do is this uh, little tricky part is we have to check if. 3 and 8 are, can be 
part of this group. Now, because we're starting here, what we're going to do is check up, down, left, and right to see if we can combine like, like 3 and 8, and then 2 and 5. This is out of bounds, so they don't get combined. There's nothing here. So what we do is first check down below if i plus 1 is less than n, which it is because this is i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0. i plus 0 plus 1 is 1, which is less than 2. uf dot union. Let's see, 3, right? So root plus 3, because this is root, and we go here. Then we want to get to this one. How do we get to that one? We're going to do root plus um, 4 times n, and then we're going to add 0. We don't have to add anything. But this is pretty much saying, how do I get to here? And similarly, if there was something um, above, right? To, to go up. Like say if we were here and we wanted to combine 8 and 3, we would do if i minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0, uf dot union root comma root minus 4 times n, right? So we would go from 8 to 0 and then we'd get to 3. So we have to do plus 3. So just take a look at it here. If, if we're here and we're trying to combine with the bottom below, we, we combine like this. And if we're here and we're trying to combine with the thing above, after we check our characters, then we um, go above like that. Now for left and right. So we have to check this side and then that side potentially. Um, for right, if i plus 1 is less than n, oh no, if j, if j plus 1 is less than n, um, so is less than n, then we have to combine this guy and this guy. So uf dot union root plus 2 and then root plus 4 plus 1. So from 0, we go to 4, and then 4 plus 1 is 5, and then we combine these two. Similarly, to do the left side, if j minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0, uf dot union root. So if we're here and we want to combine here, if we want to combine 5 with 2, what we do is root plus 1, comma, root minus 4, go here, and then plus 2. So that's how we combine right and left. Take a look at it. Now that we've filled all of our subsets, all we have to do is keep track of how many different things there are. So let's write into rest because they want integer as a result. Now we iterate through into i is equal to 0, i is less than n times n times 4, i plus plus. We do this because we're going to iterate over the internal the internal array of the union find data structure. If x or no, if i is equal to uf dot find i, then we increment res. Pretty much what this is going to do is going to check how many indices are equal to its parent in the internal uh, data structure of the uf. Uh, and every time we find one, we increment res and return res. And that's pretty much how you solve Leetcode 959. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. It'll motivate me to make some more. And please let me know how I can improve. Thanks for watching.